Hi mom, today I'm just going to show you how to um, take all the images in one of your web pages and move them over to my server. Um, this will also help address the cache life problem. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up Composer and pick a file. So I've chosen a web page that has uh, multiple images in it, so you can see how to do a group of them all at once. Um, you could easily just do one image at a time as well. Okay, so first of all, open your file. Um, then identify the images. So here's one, here's another one, and it looks like that's all in this page. So we'll work with those two. So you want to go to each image and you want to find out what image file, um, where it is right now. You'll see right now this is in image files and it's called second grade worksheets finish. All right. And then there's another one down here. Again, it's in image files, second grade worksheets, endings. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and find second grade worksheets, ending, endings, and endings, second grade worksheets, finish um, in the folder, and we're going to copy them onto a different folder. Okay, so the important thing to notice here is that it's in. Um, second grade with spelled out. Okay, so let's go find that um, those two files. So we're going to avoid the numbers. We're going to go down to the S section. Second grade worksheets numbers, puzzles. Here we go. Worksheets finish, worksheet endings. Okay, so these are the two files. So I'm going to select both of them. And I'm going to copy them. I'm going to go back up two levels. So we're back up here, and I'm going to go into SWW static. And so everything in this folder um, will get put onto my server. All right, that's an important detail. And now you can organize this however you want. This is just how I've set it up to start off with. So image, um, and I'm going to go ahead and um, if you want to organize these into folders, that's fine. You just want to keep track of where you're putting things. So I'm going to go ahead and paste those two images I copied earlier. Oh, looks like there's already a copy here, but just to make sure they're right, I'm going to go ahead and replace, replace both of them. So I'm just going to take a look. Second grade writing. Second grade. Right. Let's make sure it's organized by by name it might be out of order because I just pasted the new ones in it's like they're backwards here we go second grade worksheets finish second grade worksheet endings okay so we know these are both here and taking a look at the path up in the address bar, I see image. So it's right inside the image folder, and it's going to be on my website at SWW static. OK, so then what we're going to do is we're going to run get. So you're going to go ahead and double click on get to. So it's going to save. OK, now there's no changes, so those files were the same. So it's going to go ahead and send those up, I should say. Pulling in the latest, updating live server with your static files. So that's the that's telling me that it updated the files. Okay, it says everything's up to date. Okay, then it's going to go through and work on everything else. I'm not so worried about that right now. Um, okay, updating teammates. Okay, great, done. So it should be all set. I'm just going to go ahead and close out of that right now. We should be all set there. OK, so now let's, let's make sure that those images are there and figure out where they are. So I'm going to pull up Firefox. Um, and the address is sww-static.bryceadamfisher.com. OK, so this address equals this folder. OK. So everything inside the image folder here is going to be represented in the image folder here. Okay. 
So inside here, we know we, we put in second grade, I think it's worksheets, if I can remember how it's spelled. Second grade worksheets dash finish. Okay, second grade worksheets dash finish. And I think it's is it JPEG, JPEG. And press enter. There it is. So now we can see this is where it is online. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that address. Press control C on my computer. I'm going to go back into composer and I'm going to, um, Go to image properties. Uh, now I want the finish one. I'm going to go up here, click image properties, and I'm going to just take this out and I'm going to paste. And you'll see uh, sww static bryceadamfisher.com image second grade worksheets. I'm going to click OK. OK, and it should look exactly the same. But now this will be coming from um, my website instead of from SBI. And you'll notice it's different, so we have to save the change. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. And then um, whenever you're done, let's see, let's do the other one too. Let's make sure that the other image is up online in the right spot. So I think it's Endings. So I'm just going to type in Ending. Nope, not there, but Endings should be. Endings. Boom, there it is. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back into Composer. And I go to image properties, remove that, paste in what I just copied, click OK, and that should be all set too. Okay, so the most important point I just want to recap here is that this folder, sww static, corresponds to, um, to my server, a special place in my server that's set aside for spelling words well. So that website is. Um, swwstatic.bryceadamfisher.com. So anything in swwstatic in here will show up at this address. So if you wanted to find um, any image files, they'd be inside image. And then, so we'll just add an image on here. If you wanted to find this file on my server, you wanted to use this one. You just copy this name, you figure out what folder it's in here. So image is the folder it's inside. And then you'd put the name of that file. Okay, and that's the most important thing to, to understand. That's what's getting uploaded and it's bypassing SBI. There's no need to upload any file to SBI. If you've put it inside, anywhere inside this folder and you've run get to, that file is instantly up on my server. All right, thanks so much, Mom.